Yeah, uh, it's done, I guess. So, oh, that's stupid. This is the Hot Drop Homestead. I'm Cody, and today I'm gonna strip this room down to its studs to see how much water damage my deck has caused. Let's get into it. I'd like to go on record and say that I am the reason millennials don't buy houses anymore. So if you look in the bottom left corner, you'll see craftsmanship at its best. People spending a lot of time, money, and effort to build very stable, very sturdy, very long-lasting shelves and closets. And if you look at the large video, I'm destroying it all in a 30-second time lapse for posterity. You're welcome. This is the Hot Drop Homestead. So that came off fairly easily. It was incredibly well built. It was super sturdy. I can use a lot of that wood for other things. It was really, really durable. That dowel, hopefully I'll be able to make that into like a hanger for plants. That was a really good find. The plywood is sturdy as, as all hell. I'm gonna start taking this drywall out. I'm not gonna go next to the electrical panel. I'm gonna stop at that corner. I can shut my, like, this is the second one. I can shut that off from the other side of the house and then I'll do this side. But the water damage seems to stop somewhere over here. So I don't think I have to worry about that as much. Uh, obviously all of this has been seeping down and the foundation wall is behind it. As we go over to this side, I assume that that is pretty bad inside the wall as well. But based on what I can see, the water damage is still kind of bad here. But as we move further, it seems to go away a bit. We'll know once we get it all off. I gotta say, Chip Gaines is right. Demo day is the best day, but in the middle of it all, you end up having these existential crises, like mini ones, like baby crises, right? Where you're thinking, wow, I'm having a ton of fun right now, and then it hits you that you have to put it back together. And then you panic, because the drywall part's easy, the insulation part's easy, but what's behind it is not easy. So here is the first, definitely, definitely not the last moment of truth. What's behind this insulation is what I'm afraid of. There's a foundation wall, I know that, but I don't want there to be mold or running water or cracks, monsters even. Who knows? <sighs> Let's see. Oh, it's not, it's not that bad. It's not great. There's definitely been water, but that's, that's not that bad. It's not that bad. So it's, it's a little bit that bad. Mud sill has to be replaced completely. This completely gone. This is a roof, y'all. That's not good. Now that the room is good and full of toxic fiberglass, I am gonna clean it up and then I will start on this wall and then I'll get the ceiling. <sighs> That's what I'm gonna do. <sighs> okay. Sometimes I wonder if anybody would watch these videos if I were actually good at any of this stuff. Probably not. So this is the window wall. It seems as though that's fairly damaged there, but at the same time, it's not as bad up top as I had thought it would be. I still have to replace up to the window, but I may have dodged a bullet here because that mud still does not look nearly as bad as that naughty Jonathan. So things are looking up. Speaking of looking up, this is a ceiling. Didn't plan it, but it worked out well. This part was awful. I hated it. I hated every second of it. So I seem to have found a, a mouse nest. And that sucks, but I don't see any mice, but you can see here, there is a ton. And those are very clear indicators of a mouse's nest. So that'll be fun to pull down. It's pretty gross in here. This kind of sucks. What a 
stop just recording before I watch the footage because I'm pretty redundant half the time, but it did suck. It sucked, okay? Everybody, get off my back. It sucked. I'm not a professional. It's just free content you're watching, okay? I can't have something great to say every single time. What do you want from me? So this side's not that bad. We're right by the fluorescent light. I don't see any visible water damage, uh, uh, um, like at all. There's nothing there, okay? Great. And again, as we shift back toward the end of the house, uh, we can see a lot more damage. Uh, so I'm probably gonna have to replace the joists on the first half of this side at the very least. And we really don't know about the other side. If we are talking in relative terms, I gotta say, I think I got lucky here because I knew that the exterior damage was really bad. I could see that when I took it apart in the last video, but the ceiling was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Obviously, I have to knock a ton of this stuff out and figure out how to replace it while not uh, leaving an open hole on my property this whole time. But on the bright side, my friends are getting vaccinated and they can come help me soon. So again, things are looking up. This has been the Hot Drop Homestead. Love you. Say it back.